there's the garden. We have had beautiful weather. It's going to continue through today. Tomorrow we start some rain and then it'll get cold again. And you know it's Chicagoland so it could snow again. Let's go check that cold frame which I opened. So here's that cold frame close up, the spinach that overwintered and the bunching onions all doing well. I just cleaned them up and I threw in some seed earlier and it is sprouting there in the back to keep the spinach going. This is the winter sown directly in the earth section. That's Vero Flay spinach and it is doing great. This is American flag leeks and they have sprouted. Next to that are parade bunching onions which have also begun to sprout in that sort of dome cloche. We have my own save seed of arugula and mizuna doing marvelously. This is kind of the leftover spot where I put a mishmash of smaller bulbs just because. On the right there, some elephant garlic bulbs. We'll see what happens with those. And that is an overwintered green onion. And on the other side, also another overwintered green onion. I'm hoping they'll go to seed to give me seed this year. And that appears to be a rogue leek that came up. Hopefully it'll pop ahead and give me some seed as well. Next, we're going to take a look at my main garlic bed. Over here are three kinds. There's Spanish Rojo on the left, and then my Red German Music saved, as well as Moravian saved on the far right. But Moravian was the one that was so huge last year and delicious, so I'm excited because they are doing really, really well out of the out of the box. I have to cover these garlic beds with chicken wire to keep the squirrels out. Now this is soft neck garlic which I have never done before and I am so pleased that it has come up. This is red talk and it will make me self-sufficient in garlic because it lasts longer than the hard neck I usually do. There's my rhubarb showing face. Very excited about that. I can already taste those rhubarb cherry crumbles. Yum! Perpetua blueberry really really budded out. This might be the year. I'm not really good at blueberries but I keep trying. Strawberry bed is looking good. I'm dying to clean it out but I'm still leaving it for all the animals that still might be there and these blueberries are well budded as well so we'll see if we get any more than a handful which is my normal uh, but uh, we love our fruit here's my first batch of winter sowing i'm going to open up and see what we've got i know spinach is definitely sprouted well here's what's germinated and here's what has not germinated, and that's fine. It's always a worry when they germinate early in these kind of beautiful days. The spinach and parsley in this one will be fine. The spinach will be fine. The lettuce will be fine. Snaps will be fine. Not sure about poppies. This is Delphinium, new to me. Um, Allie up in Canada sent that to me and these are my short snaps and they are just really coming up all over the place so that's fine and the snaps will be fine it's always a risk when you're doing winter sowing and things come up too early when there's a streak of false spring so we've got three days of quite beautiful weather here in Chicagoland. It's um, very windy today though, so I'm back in the garage um, to film this. Gonna try to get ahead of the game. Back in January, I bought these stackable planter pieces and I bought some more to make a tower out of. 
after I bought them, I went on YouTube, of course, and found several great YouTube videos on what people had done to these. And most of the people recommended that you drill a hole in the bottom, run a pole through it into the ground to stabilize it. Some people have even cemented that pole. Um, one video, though, had a PVC pipe down at the bottom, um, and she sat the unit on it to hold it up a little bit to keep it away from the bunnies and away from uh, other things. For me, I was thinking away from the weed whacker because if the weed whacker um, hit this, it probably would chew it up or crack it. So um, we went searching for a six inch something because that's what was going to fit in here nicely. In the plumbing department, we found one of these connectors and it fits in there perfectly. So that'll keep it up off the ground a little farther away from the bunnies. I think my first level will actually be something like marigolds um, in order to be another deterrent. And we're thinking right now that we're gonna stack these about seven or eight high. Um, we bought this uh, three quarter inch galvanized steel rod um what's it out of al is this out of the plumbing section out of electrical out of electrical and uh al's going to cut this in half so that i can make two towers and um i'm going to get going on filming how to do these holes this is a one inch hole saw bit i turned the rpms way down on the drill and I hope that with very light pressure and so forth um, I'm gonna get through this without cracking a lot of people had trouble with cracking when they did this all right I got through there just fine no cracking. I guess the next question is, is it gonna fit on that pole? All right, so here's my freshly made hole and it works like a dream. So now just to do all the rest of these, so I did actually uh, crack this one when I drilled it. I must have uh, pushed down with too much force. Don't think it's a deal breaker. I'm going to put some tape on it and still use it. It doesn't look like a problem. Um, one complaint with these was that they dried out pretty fast in the summer, so I am not going to punch out all three holes. I am just going to punch out one for drainage, and I'll use this one as the test case just in case it doesn't go well. Perfect, okay. Excellent. So I used my duct tape and I taped over that little split right there. And I also put some more on the inside as well because better safe than sorry. So we've marked that 10 foot electrical conduit and Al's going to cut it in half for me so I can make two of these planters. So it was the first time that I tried saving dahlia tubers and saving geraniums bare root. I save geraniums in the garage and that works well, but I thought I'd try this method as well. So let's look at the dahlias first. I don't know, it looks pretty dry. I'm gonna 
put it in to soak and see what we got. And the other one, well, it looks it looks pretty dry also. Well, this this one looks okay. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. Maybe there's enough on there that something will work on that one. Let's let's soak it for a minute and see what happens. Now, as far as the geraniums, I had three of them. Oh boy, they all look really, really dry. Oh, oh, oh I guess I have four of them. I don't know if any of those have survived or not. We'll soak them and see what happens. Okay, these have been soaking now for, oh, about an hour and a half, and I cut off all of the definitely not coming back no matter what happens stuff on these uh, four geraniums. And I still don't feel incredibly confident that they are going to come back to life, but we will plant them and try. I have uh, these little pots here that I'm going to use to do this. Well, I finished the geraniums and I don't know if it will work or not, but they're in their little temporary homes to see if we can't get some uh, life out of them and uh, bring them back to life. I'm on to the dahlias now. This one, I don't know. It was, it was odd when I put it away. Um, there's a couple of tubers on there and one kind of main one here. Um, so it was small and tiny and I'm just gonna give that a little pot up and see what happens. Now this one was quite healthy looking when I put it in and it looks like it's got one, two, Two of the tubers look good. The rest are kind of all weasened up like this. So I'm gonna just take these weasened ones off and uh, plant that one up also. All right, I took those weasened up ones off. This one's still kind of wrinkly, but it has some firmness in there. This one has some firmness, but kind of wheezy. This one's definitely firm. So. I think this one may come back to life, so I will get it planted up. So if you have done this method before of um, bare root geraniums and uh, my Dahlia friends, let me know. Do you think that uh, there's any hope that these are going to come back to life? or not. Um, in my opinion, it was worth a shot, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. So here's the status on my overwintering plants in the garage. They are doing wonderful. Geraniums are doing fabulous. Mums and grasses and begonias are doing great. Another geranium, all kinds of geraniums up here and down in there. We have geraniums and a mum. So I've done it this way for years. It works out wonderfully. So we are done with the DIY project, um, the stackable planters from the Dollar Tree. We used electrical conduit cut in half. We used a plumbing connector piece for the bottom and then nine of these stackable planters from the Dollar Tree. Can't put them outside yet because it is too 
iffy on the weather, we could still snow. But they're ready and I'm excited. Remember, sometimes the only thing we harvest is knowledge. And that's okay. Bye for now. We'll see you on the next one.